I'm Bruno Massel here at Fabco, and the next line of cylinders are the multi-power. We've got the press and we've got the crimper. Let's start with the multi-power. In its simplest form, multi-power is a stacked piston, which gives you the ability to obtain hydraulic force from just shop air. I'm talking 22 tons from just 100 PSI. The other thing multi-power does is allow you to obtain more force from a smaller footprint. And here's a great example of that. If you look on this chart right here, you've got, this is a high power cylinder. It's three inches in, di in diameter. Well, we've got a multi-power here that's an inch and five eighths. Believe it or not, the multi-power in a four stage configuration makes as much force as the three inch. So the whole idea is to get the same or more power from a smaller footprint. And that's where these things come into play. And Bruno, this 12 inch bore cylinder is equivalent to a 17 inch bore cylinder. This is a two piston, 12 inch bore. The deal with this, you have a smaller footprint. You also use less air because you're doing your work with two pistons, but you're returning with one piston. So if you got a four stage, you're doing the work with four and only returning with one exactly. as well. That's a big savings. Yeah, 442 square inches. Okay. And if you have 100 pounds of air, that's 22 tons of force. Wow. Now this is a inch and an eighth bore, five inch bore, and 12 inch bore. So it gives you an idea of different sizes that we do in our tie rod. Now this is a serious multi-power right here. It is. It <laughs> it's is. a big boy. It is. We need a crane to lift it up. <laughs> Moving on from the multi-power, let's talk a little bit about the crimper, for example. You guys have a lot of standard dimensions, but the variations a lot of times come specifically for applications where the crimping ends at. Yeah, this comes in handy and we have this in a portable unit too that you could actually transport it around. It's a three inch bore, three piston unit. Uh, we've done applications from small medical device crimping to cable ends to a fuel line. And this actually will allow you to work at a workbench and have a two foot control at the bottom and do your jobs. So that's pretty neat. It removes some of the physical labor that an individual has to do and you're gonna get a consistent crimp every time. If you're doing a hand crimp, you can get tired and not crimp it all the way. This has a circuit built into it that allows you to crimp at X force, and okay. you can adjust that. Nice, nice, and it'll be the same every time. Exactly. All right, so for the crimpers, then we're talking a bit about the press. Okay, this press uh, has different openings. We start with a five and a half, we go seven, nine, 11. You can fit standard die sets in. We have different frame plate heights for different height uh, products you're doing. This was a simple ag uh, equipment closure, and uh, we closed this piece of sheet metal up to go around a half inch diameter rod and then they weld this onto their uh, implement. This is the infrastructure of the United States so uh, you know we go we have a lot of different applications. These arable oil tanks are accessories that you use when you have a multi-power and you have a hydraulic shock option. What this does is it fills the retract side of your multi-power with oil and when you are punching, shearing, staking, it catches the energy and gives you a reservoir for your oil to come into here. Now, this baffle, actually, you get the oil shooting up, it hits the top diffuser plate, and it flows the oil over to the side so you don't aerate your oil. These double air oil tanks are used for a double acting cylinder that you want to control the speed both directions. So we have these an inch and a quarter, two inch, and four inch bore. Okay, so there's a number of different applications you go with when you talk about crimping and or doing the press, and it all becomes based off of the multi-power. Exactly. Yep. So if you want to learn more about any of these products or any of the Fabco products, call up one of the reps, get one of the catalogs, or check out their website, www.fabco-air.com.